Resettlement has worked for Ethel and Francis, but nothing can replace their lost years. If I would have been adopted, it would have been great. I should be with a family. I would have been made of it. I would have been with a family. I would have been like other children. Like working out, meeting all different people, go to different places, go, you know, all around the world. Nice. But that never happened. Could have been out and in the world and everything. Could have, could have been out and done things for ourselves and everything. Instead of slaving and slaving for them. John was uh, always, and, and still is, uh, very interested in sport and was a man who had some considerable abilities, particularly in football, but also in cricket, uh, to the extent that he always played for the hospital teams wherever he lived and had some aspirations for that to be uh, part of his, uh, his, his career. However, that was uh, never to be. He's lost 60 years of his life, really, and had that replaced by some shallow existence uh, in very subservient roles um, without any status and standing in uh, long-stay hospitals. Uh, what we can do is to crack on and make sure that he's got the best possible opportunities that we can provide for him for the years that he's got left. John Sylvester watches his favourite team, Crew Alexandra, with his friend and helper, Marion Murphy. John's a very, very special person. He's a grandfather I never had. I feel very sad because I'm sure if he'd been given opportunities years ago, he could have made something of his life. Come on, pass it to me. I don't know, but I'm sure somewhere along the line there's a little path for Johnny. I could have earned a lot of money. He got married. I let a family in. Yeah. But they didn't know what course yeah, he was. Right. Well, they didn't know nothing about it. I wasn't allowed to talk to my own sister. I mean, they never see it outside, love. I wasn't allowed out to the grounds. I didn't know what would have know outside. I know there's cars and people, pictures and all that, shops. <coughs> River, not very far away, a big park. I knew all that. Because I could see it from where I was in my bedroom. History is taking its revenge on the institutions. The mental hospital is becoming extinct. That door will open a bit further yeah. tonight. Go, get that for a kick. For those who should never have been locked up, there has been no apology, no compensation. We should, in fact, compensate them, and the way that um, we can do that is to give them a valued life in the community, to give them the opportunities to do and participate in things that see them as valued members of society. We have this inclination to want to see people as objects of pity and objects of charity, when what we should be doing is seeing them as valued uh, neighbours, valued work colleagues, valued friends, valued members of our, our own community. What do you think you lost? I it? never. I ne I ne well, to be honest, I'd back be part of my life, didn't I? Well, you, you can't back them years back now, can I?
I'm not worried about my feet. The Community Care Act in April should put an end to such cases. For one, there'll be a system of assessment by law. For another, there'll be very few institutions. The real danger of neglect now will be in the community, and that's a challenge we've all yet to face. Until the first Tuesday in March, good night.